Pat Coleman Young, I've become a code word for black. To, to attack Detroit is to attack black. Politicians run for office by attacking Detroit, by attacking COVID Young. The media gets headlines. You're a symbol. By running bad Exactly. You got it. COVID. Are you proud of Detroit? Certainly I'm proud of Detroit. I wouldn't be here if I were not. Coleman Young has been the mayor of Detroit for the past 17 years. Is it a safe place to live, a good place to live, a good it's place a good to raise a family? a place to live, and I think it's as safe as any other. There's not a body on every corner. And the average the citizen in this city is not confronted with the, the, the fear of his life. So don't bring me that crap about Detroit. We're no different. We have the same problems any city in America. Black people are victims of racism. It's not accidental. The cities around the nation, they have the largest percentage of blacks, have the largest percentage of poverty, have the largest percentage of crime, have the largest percentage of unemployment. I have driven and walked past mile after mile of decayed, rotting neighborhoods that look like war zones, of burned out buildings, I crack have houses. If, you, if you've been coming in any length of time, those were there when I became mayor. And a whole lot of that's been restored. There are also people that say that any white mayor who had developed the downtown area and let the neighborhoods collapse would have been kicked out of office a long time ago. Well, that's bull. <laughs> that's pure propaganda. The neighborhoods collapsed <laughs> because half the goddamn population left. In for exercise more power than blacks anywhere in any city in the United States. And, and we refused in the city of Detroit to kiss their behinds. That scares the white establishment. Oh, I think it does. They resent it. There ain't no respectful way for a black to act in America. <laughs> Why? I'll be damned if I'm going to let them collect guns in the city of Detroit while we're surrounded by hostile suburbs. To the mayor. And has played a tremendous part in terms of, of setting Detroit back. But at the same time, I think it's only fair that no white man in the world can do as much to us in the city of Detroit that we've done to ourselves. Look, man, I have been hounded for 10 goddamn years. <laughs> with allegations, rumors, and not one concrete charge. Now, after 10 years, you get tired of that bull****. But you're police chief? I wouldn't give a <laughs> who it is. It's an investigation. There have been no findings. A federal grand jury tried to bring that up, but the mayor cut us short. You came in here to do a chop job, obviously. No, and, I didn't. And that's what you've done. That's not true. Oh, bull****. But don't you think I'm through now. Let's, 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 let's. Why do you get so angry? Why do you get so defensive? I'm not defensive. I am angry. I'd be a goddamn fool to discuss with you on public uh, uh, television an allocation, which would be the same as taking a goddamn stand. And who the f*** do you think you are to come in here and cross-examine me? Well, it's not a cross-examination. Well, it sure the hell isn't. It's a question and a valid question. Uh, you're out of line. And as far as I'm concerned, the interview's concluded.